In this video, we'll take a look at one of the strongest search tool that is available right within Dynamics CRM to search for records, that is Advanced Find. First, we'll see how to navigate to this tool and familiarize with its UI and then we'll dive into creating queries and applying different filters to get the data that we are looking for. All right, let's dive into our demonstration here. So earlier into this course, we saw the advanced find button. That is the funnel like icon on top of the page. Let's explore how to use it. As soon as you click it, a new window should pop up. Let's walk through this window. On the top, you have a tab like structure called the navigation. You shouldn't be bothered about it too much at this moment. Just underneath navigation is the command bar or ribbon typically grouped into four categories. That is show, view, query, and debug. All of these are equally important and we'll look at them one by one in just a bit. Now under the command bar or the ribbon, we have an advanced query editor using which you can pretty much extract any data with any filters in CRM. First thing you need to specify in query editor is what exactly you are looking for. That is the record type or entity. Let's take an example that I want to search for any opportunities that belong to adventure works account. In this particular case, we are trying to find out opportunity records, correct? Thus we'll select opportunities under look for. Below the look for is where you actually define the filters or the conditions basis which the results should be displayed. By default, it is showing me that it will display all the opportunities whose owner belongs to the current logged in user, that is me, and the status of which is open. One interesting thing worth noting here when I say by default is that the advanced find button is context aware. What that means is if I click the advanced find button when I'm viewing opportunity views, system will default the look for to opportunities and the filter criteria would match the original view. Let me show that to you real quick. Let me just close this window for a moment. Notice that I am currently looking at opportunities and specifically my open opportunities view. And we saw the default filter criteria for this as in when we click the advanced find button. That is owner should be equals to the current user and status equals open. Now let me switch the view to let's say open opportunities and let's hit the advanced find button. The look for is opportunities and now the filter conditions changed. It just says status equals open. Similarly, if I click this button when viewing accounts, look for is going to be defaulted to accounts and the filter criteria would match the underlying view that I was currently viewing. All right. So for a moment, let's say we have defined filter criteria, what we wanted and are ready to see the results at which time we'll press the results button under the show group on the ribbon. What this is going to do underneath is it will match all the opportunity records based on the filter criteria mentioned and provide a list of all the matching records. On the results page, notice one thing that we see additional set of buttons on ribbon, which we didn't see previously. This ribbon is dynamic and depend on the entity that you are choosing and it will provide you some additional operations that you can do to the records on the results page. Few of the notable ones are create or edit of a given record. Let me select the record here and then you'll probably see. Few of the notable ones are create or edit of any given record. Similarly, you have some like deletes, copy a link of this particular record that I have selected, etc. Spend some time looking at the buttons and try to guess what they would do. Should be a good exercise for all the self learners here. Let's go back to our query editor window by pressing the advanced find button on navigation bar and explore what all the groups mean on the ribbon. The first one that we see is show. There are majorly three buttons here. Query is what you are seeing right now, which allows you to edit any given query. Save views are nothing but the views that you might have saved previously from the advanced find. We'll come to that later. And finally, you have the third button that is results, which would obviously 
display all the results basis the filter criteria that you have chosen here. View group contains additional options for the current query that we are building like what are the columns or fields that I am interested in. Do I want to save this query for any future references? Clicking on the new button would clear out all the current filters and allow me to choose the new ones and finally I can save this particular view if I am happy with the results. Query group will contain additional options for the filters that we are trying to build like putting and or or conditions, clearing out the current set of filters that I have chosen etc. Debug group is not for you guys but basically meant for system administrators or customizers so we will not talk about it for now. Ok so now we know the basic parts of this window and how to look for results. Let's get into how to create filters and trust me it's very simple. Continuing with the same example of listing all the opportunities that are related to adventure works account. Let's select opportunities under look for and click new because we are interested in creating a fresh query. Hovering over to select in the filters window would get me a drop down which would show up all the fields that are present on opportunity and all the related entities to that opportunities. What we are interested in is where account equals adventure works. So let's select the first field that says account. As soon as you select any field all the operators would start to show up basis the field type and they are pretty much self explanatory like begins with, contains data or does not contain. We can potentially choose equal, contains, begins with for this particular example. I will choose equals first and select adventure works in the account and hit results. Only two records that belong to adventure works show up. Similarly let's try again but this time with a contains operator and see what the data shows up. So let me go here select contains and I would say adventure works and hit results. See the same two opportunity records show up. Let's take another example a little complex one. I want to see all the opportunities that were created this month. As you might think I will simply look for opportunities and set the filter criteria based on created on field. So let me just click the created on field here. The moment I select created on field notice the operators are now changed and more aligned to date fields. The best operator for us at this time would be this month since we are looking for all the opportunities that are created this month. Let's select this month and hit the results. It looks like there were no opportunities in the system that were created this month. It's simple isn't it? Now one question that you might ask is for putting filters how do I know which field do I have to reference here? There's no simple answer to this but I can assure you that once you actually start using the system and work with records over time you would just know that this field will give me the answer that I am looking for. So that's a real quick introduction of advanced find and I hope you will now not feel lost once you see this window.